All right, let's talk about if the Detroit Lions will trade. Um, let Kenny Galladay walk or pay him. Let's talk about it. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Share the video. They also can franchise tag. And the franchise tag this year was a little bit under $18 million. Nobody exactly knows how much Kenny Galladay and his agent is asking for. Um, if they feel that they want extra money to stay in Detroit, then they're probably asking around $18 or $20 million. Now, how much should they pay him or what should be um, the minimum they should or the maximum they should go? I mean, that's the, the determined. I mean, rumor is or, you know, you can see is Stafford has no more guaranteed money left. So, I mean, you have no other receiver that is capable of being here in the future that can capable of being the number one and number two. Quintez Stevens is incapable of being a one or two right now. I mean, I think it's a stretch to say he can be a three in the slot. Danny Amendola is old. Marvin Jones is old. He ain't even a number five right now. He need to go. So you're looking at the, the, the situation. You have no credible receivers. Your credible, your only credible receiver is Kenny Galladay. And you got to ask yourself, are we going to rebuild it? And if we rebuilding it, not only do we need to look for a quarterback, we need to look for pass catchers. Now, also, people talk about the offensive line. What's so funny is the Lions got a, uh, the best run blocking grade in National Football League. But then again, you only have 100 yard rusher, and that came versus the worst, one of the worst teams in the National Football League who had a ton of injuries, and that's the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I'm not sold on the offensive line either. People say, well, you need to apologize to Taylor Decker. I mean, last time I checked, we only won two football games. Last time I checked, when I watched, he sucked that run block in. I, you just can't believe everything that. Pro football focus say, watch the game for yourself. How many times have they, they put off big runs going to the left? DeAndre Swift big runs came running off the right side of the line. So, to be honest, I mean, I still don't know about the offensive line. Like I said before, we're not winning games. We have 100-yard rusher. But, you know, if you're willing to rebuild it all up, I mean, it would be nice to give your quarterback a receiver. It all depends on what they want to do. If they want to rebuild next year, then you let them walk and you find another Galladay in the draft. But, I mean, do you want to hamper yourself and pay him $20 million a year when you can get somebody else in the draft to do the same thing he can do? I mean, who won the Super Bowl last year? The Chiefs? They don't really have the greatest receivers in the league. They got Ty, uh, Tyreek Hill. He really ain't considered a receiver, but he grown into one. Sammy Watkins, Hardman, Robinson, and they got a good... Uh, Tight end and Travis Kelsey, the runner-up. They didn't really have no big-name receivers. They made it there in the 49ers with Debo Samuels as their best receiver. And then Emmanuel Sanders, he did okay, you know, but you don't need a big receiver in this league. Would I like to see them pay Galladay? Yeah, who else? You, I mean, you paid Trey Flowers all that money. He didn't perform. Jamie Collins, you paid him all that money. He didn't perform. I mean, who else they didn't pay it over the, over, over the years? I mean, they didn't pay a lot of guys that ain't perform. I mean... You, you just feel like they pretty much probably not going to pay him. And if you pretty much say that we so far apart, do you really want to pay him $18 million possibly next year in a year that the cap is coming down? No. You know, so trade him. Trade him. I mean, what can you get back from him? See, some people say, well, we got this for Roy Williams. He better receive it than Roy Williams. He ain't Roy Williams in this market. You don't have a Dallas Cowboy to take him on. So you looking at him, you got to pay him. So if you think he worth the first, now he's worth the second. You got to pay him a new contract. So really, in, in reality, he probably worth the second. In, in some scenarios, he might be only worth a third. Because receivers come a dime a dozen. You could pick him off a tree like, like an apple. So in, in, in reality, either they can let him walk for nothing or they can trade and get something for him. If you, if you can't pay him now, what they going to say next year is this. They don't get there and say, well, your numbers fail this year, even though he missed the first three or four games, whatever it was. This is what we're going to pay you. And at the end of the day, either you're going to franchise tag him. If you can't afford him right now, you can't afford to franchise tag him at $18 million a year. Straight up and down, you can't franchise tag that man at $18 million a year. No. So smart thing to do is trade him. But you know Lions going to let him walk. He's going to go wherever he want to go. He's going to go to Philly. He's going to go to the, Jet, the Giants or whatever. A lot of people saying because they trade him like Golden Tate. It's a smart thing to do. If you're not going to keep him, what can he be asking? If he asks for anything less than $18 million, you're not going to franchise tag him. You know? So, you know, trade him. It's a wrap. He's been playing on the discounts from the day when he got here. He won his money.
You know, he see Cooper getting his money. He's a better receiver than Cooper. Straight up and down. He show up on the road. He show up at home. You know, he just as good as Godwin. He just as good as Mike Evans. You know, the only guys that's like superior to him for real is probably Keenan Allen, DeAndre Hopkins, Michael Thomas, guys like that. But do you want to lose him for nothing? At least you say, okay, we can't pay our, our third round draft pick. Let's get a second for him. That's an upgrade. You got a guy in the third, you get a second for him. But just like Barry and Dominican Sue and, and, and uh, Calvin Johnson, they're going to lose him for nothing. They knew when Dom Kisu wasn't coming back, and they still didn't trade him. They still didn't draft his replacement in Aaron Donald. They knew Nick Fairley, they declined his fifth year option. And you just you just gotta you just gotta you just gotta think about that. This organization is not smart at all. It's not. It's not. You know, and you wish you wish they get it together, but I mean, do you really want to play a receiver and you rebuilding $20 million? I mean, you can make the case that you're going to have a rookie quarterback that's on a, uh, a salary cap restriction in the draft. You got DeAndre Swift on a little bit of nothing. You got an O-line that you got on a really good deal. I mean, who else you going to spend to come here? I mean, spending money on Galladay might be a smart thing to do. You don't have nobody else to pay. You're not going to bring, you know, Khalil Mack or somebody like that here, Tom Brady. I'm going to say Tom Brady. Somebody like Patrick Mahomes here. You're not going to bring him there. And, and then you you don't have no rookie that's trending to get a really big payday, maybe than maybe other than T.J. Hawkinson. He can't even put the numbers up to, to to justify a big payday. He can't put the numbers up because I mean he can't put he can't justify because he ain't getting the numbers. So they don't have any future superstar that they gonna have to pay huge money. In this defense, excuse me, in this defense, Tracy Walker he ain't no superstar. He ain't no Brian Dawkins. He ain't no Troy Polamalu, Ed Reed. Not in this system. Trey Flowers ain't getting no more money. Jamie Collins ain't getting no more money. You know, you don't have nobody else. Other than Hawkinson, maybe the only one to get money. Amendola old, Jones old. Um, who else trying to get some money? You could draft a whole nother draft class next year and still, you know, by the time Galilee contract come up, then you'd be ready to pay your rookies next year if you draft some superstars. Jeff Okuda don't look like he's going to be a superstar. You know I mean? Do you really want to lose Galladay for nothing? And then think about it. You don't have no receivers on the back end. Who you got? Who you got a receiver? Quintess Cephas may or may not be a starter in this league. At the best, he's going to be a slot. Marvin Hall may or may not be a starter in this league. Best he's going to be is just a deep threat that come off the bench. Who else you got? Um, Amendola, he done. And then look at your running back position. You don't have no running back that's worth bringing back. Bo Scarborough still ain't played. Kerryon ain't worth the full stamp. And Adrian Peterson, you can't count on him being your number two and number one back next year. So thinking about offensively, you might have to rebuild at your skill position. And then is Sherrill Crosby the, the answer at right tackle? Well, people ain't noticed that. Big V, he can't play right tackle. They knew that. So is Terrell Crosby the answer at right tackle? Taylor Decker still the answer at left tackle? Who knows? The Lions is probably headed for a total rebuild. Think about it for a minute. Even if Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn stay another year, who, who, is your, who is your superstar on the Lions? Who is your pro bowler on the Lions? You got rid of Darius Slay. Who is it? Think about the offense. You know, Harmon ain't really nothing. Walker's a good player, but you can't tell in this system. Okuda, Armani Rockwe is probably the only player that you gotta train that you gotta pay. The linebackers are trash. The line is trash. Wouldn't bring back none of them. Especially Deshaun Hand. He's been a bad, bad, bad player this year. I mean, you don't even hear his name from card. Offensively, you have nothing you bring back. You might not bring back Stafford if you get rid of Quinn and Patricia. You might not bring back none of the receivers, including Galladay. If you let him walk or you train them. You have no skilled players with players that you start that you're going to bring back. And DeAndre Swift ain't officially a starter yet, neither. So who are you bringing back? So the Lions may be headed for a rebuild. Who knows? But personally, if you ain't going to pay them, move them now. Don't wait till you get to the offseason. Somebody give a better offer that you can't match. Or, you know, if you ain't going to pay him what he want, you ain't going to franchise tag him. But, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget, we're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We reach out. We have a business question, inquiry, sponsorship, video request. All my social media links in the description. Um, if you have, you know, other than that, want to make a donation? Just share the video. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. 
Financial donations, cash app, CJ Good 313 That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Appreciate everybody that donate. Don't forget to check out my other channel, Goodfellas Sports TV, for more sports, music, news, and entertainment. Appreciate the love and support. We done.